Sunny Lee, we're so happy that you're here and took the step to share your amazing testimony. Can you just tell us briefly of what was your life like before you came to Jesus Christ? Well, I was in gangs, um, very violent. I had a lustful mind. I uh, didn't really care whether I lived or died. But uh, I also went to church when I was doing all that, and I didn't really take church seriously. I played with it until I met my girl. Her family was kind of on fire for God, and I got to see a little bit of them, but I still didn't take them serious. Not until um, Wednesday during the whole uh, youth service, or it was a teen service, I was uh, in my room actually trying to smoke weed, and she was in the living room praising God, and I felt his presence in my house, and it was the first time I felt like he was actually physically there, and then I felt disrespectful, and then I was like, you know, I need to put this down, go in the living room and see what's going on. Went and sat on my couch, and then I, like, literally was overcame with emotion. I didn't, never in my life have I cried like that before, but um, I was very emotional, and then I decided, you know what, um, after this, I want to go to church. My wife wanted to go to a dance class with her sister. She asked me three times, do you sure? And I was like, well, yes, I really do want to go. I want to feel his presence. This is not enough. And in that moment, I felt him literally speaking to me. And I was like, you know what? I want to get rid of all my drugs. I want to get rid of all my pipes. I destroyed them in a garbage can. And then I was like, let's go. We came here, and I actually got saved that day for the first time in my life. That's absolutely powerful. Now, that is amazing that's incredible now tell us after you gave your life to jesus christ what were the steps forward how are you doing now well i feel like i'm changing every day like i'm getting better in him i'm learning more of him um i watch a lot of jesus christ movies and shows <laughs> didn't used to do that before <laughs> um i find myself not easily angered anymore I, I find myself more joyful more easier to you know tell people who are angry god bless you instead of trying to fight with them <laughs> Um, but he's actually really blessed me in a lot of ways. He, my brother came down from Yakima, and I was able to pray for him. He was a knucklehead like I was. <laughs> he didn't want to come to church, but he was like, pray for me. And when I prayed for him, he literally tripped out. He was like, I heard a whisper. I've never heard that before. He goes, are you working magic? I said, no, this is God. This is not me. <laughs> yeah. um, he actually made it easier for me to get married to my wife, which is happening six days from now. Uh, before then, I probably wouldn't have got married because I was too busy using my money for drugs and, you know, not really paying attention to, like, bills and stuff like that. I'm easier to keep my home, you know. I'm actually happy because I, he's locked me into a good job. He's given me uh, good positivity, you know. It's... Amen, sorry. Um, and can you tell us, you, you got baptized, yeah? Yes, the baptism was wonderful. It was a beautiful thing. I felt renewed. <laughs> Definitely renewed. Sunny, this is a powerful testimony. For those that are watching, those that are here, maybe are contemplating, they want to take the step and there's a hindrance or a fear, what would you advise them? What would be your encourage, encouragement for them? Um, to basically just forget about what you think or what anybody else thinks. Yeah. It's not about any of us. It's not even about ourselves when we come here. Come just keep your eyes on God and walk forward. Don't be like Peter and look down in the water and sink. Just keep walking forward in faith. He'll touch you. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you for you. watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.